What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I am John from John's Daily Hustle. Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to do another little story time for you guys. Since you guys seemed to like it last week, go check that video out if you haven't already. But today we're going to talk about why I don't trust certain people and it has something to do with this right here. So not only do I not trust certain people, but I like to keep my eyes on people, especially when I'm in my apartment complex. You guys can check that video out and see what I'm talking about, the apartment complex I mow. I mow a pretty large one. It has 144 houses in there. So you figure if every house has at least two people in there, that's, you know, 288 people that all have their eyes on you or that could potentially not like you for certain reasons. And in my case, I know a lot of people there don't like me, or at least some people, I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people there don't like us lawn care guys, because when I show up, I made the manager give them letters to clean up all their trash, which they still didn't do, as you guys know, but and to move all their kids' toys and bicycles, and they put those damn landscape lights up, which they're not supposed to, because I made them pick them up, but people still do it. Well, as there is a whole row of houses there with what I call deadbeat parents that don't pay attention to their kids. Well, I purposely will not mow in front of their house if they won't move their kids. So those are the people I know for a fact that don't like well, as you guys know, I try to be very polite and respectful and safe on these mowers because they're dangerous. They could throw rocks and stuff. So I always have my head on a swivel. I'm always watching people. As well as I really like to see who is who. You know, when I see somebody walking, I want to know where they live so I can put that in my head. I'm like, okay, that person lives there. In my opinion, you got to be aware of your surroundings. You know, if something gets stolen on my truck, I'll be like, okay, I seen that guy walk that way. He came from my truck area. Maybe he was one and you keep my radar on him, that kind of thing. Or if somebody's out because I've seen that people were throwing rocks, I mean large rocks, out into the fields that we were mowing there sometimes. And I believe they were the ones that, I don't know this for a fact, so I can't really blame them, but I believe they were the ones that I had the manager go tell that they need to move all their kids' stuff as well as they can't put landscape lights up. So they already don't like me. So anyways, I'm weed eating around that row of houses where I know the deadbeat parents live and I see a guy walks out of one house and he comes my way but then he goes behind the houses. As you guys know, there's a big field behind the houses. Now there is a soda machine behind the main office there of this neighborhood. That's just a soda machine that sells Cokes and you know Dr. Peppers, Pepsi, stuff like that in cans, not giant water bottles. So anyways, I thought it was strange that I seen him walk behind the houses and I'm like, okay, where's that guy going? Maybe he's picking stuff up or something like that. Mind you, I'm still out weed eating, just trying to do my job. But like I said, I seen that guy walk into a place where he doesn't normally go. So I'm just watching to make sure that when I come around the corner of the other side of the houses, I don't hit him with the weed eater or throw a rock at him or something like that. But I'm also, like I said, always watching people to see who is who. Because you guys will see later in a couple of videos, I had some problems with two of my mowers two different days in a row when I mowed the same different house or the two different weeks in a row I should say so I'll explain that later on why I'm so paranoid right now at this place at this point in the year anyways about five minutes later I look over and I see the guy he's walking up to me again the guy that walked behind the field he starts walking up to me and he has this water bottle in his hand and he waves me down and hands me this and goes hey man I see you out here busting your ass you know it's hot because at this point it was like maybe June maybe even July it was getting pretty hot out so he goes man I see you're out here busting your ass here I wanted to get you this so I'm like okay thank you I appreciate it well I took it and I watched him go back inside so I walk over to my truck I fill the weed eater up with gas and I set this in the truck but before I set it in the truck I take a look at it first of all if you guys know this water is expensive it is not your regular you know Dasani water or anything I want to say it's like what f almost five dollars at your local gas station something like that that's expensive nobody there has ever done anything that nice so of course naturally I inspect it and I'm like okay what's what's in it what's wrong with it and the one thing that stood out was it was already cracked open as you can see there's appears to be nothing wrong with it but I'm like mmm so naturally, as you guys can see, I did not drink that water. Now there's a good chance that there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Maybe the guy just was being nice. But my thought in my head is, where did he come from? Because he did not walk. There's not a store close by there, at least within a five-minute walking distance. And even if he drove somewhere, he still wouldn't have got back that time. And why did he walk behind the house in the backfield when his car was parked behind where I was? He should have walked past me. Anyways, there's, you know, a hundred different scenarios on what could have actually happened. Maybe he really did go to the store and I'm just out of my mind or I'm being super paranoid. But 
In my case, I feel like it's better to be paranoid on something like that than not. Really the whole uh, learning part of this story is you've really just got to watch where you're going and watch your surroundings. Know who is around you and know what kind of air you're in. Because like I said in a previous video, when you mow in, you know, a rougher part of town, you have to pay attention to stuff like, you know, who's over by your truck and who's taking stuff. Because, you know, stuff does get stolen in this business. I'm sure we all have came up with a hundred different scenarios on our head on what could have possibly been done to this. Or, we could have came up with scenarios on how good this could have been had I had drank it there. But the other thing that stood out about it was it was not cold when he gave it to me. So it had been sitting somewhere for a while. Since you guys really enjoyed story time last week, I figured I'd upload this story. Maybe you guys would get a kick out of that. Or maybe you guys have had something similar happen to you guys. So comment below if you've had something similar like that happen. Or maybe I'm just over my head. Comment below what you think it was. Maybe I'm just being super paranoid or... You know, maybe the guy was actually just being really nice. I don't know. But comment below your take on that and what you would have done in this scenario. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.